Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and I am sorry that this isn't the most legit professional looking video ever, but the realness is that I just wanted to film this earlier today, and George was, you know, <laughs> occupying my time. So, I am super excited to announce that I am one of the first people in Hong Kong to buy the new Ergo Baby Metro City Stroller. And I've been so excited to try the stroller out because my previous stroller, the Yo-Yo Baby Zen, um, was just like busted. So background, we bought it secondhand. So it already had a previous owner who had used it for two years. And that's two separate children she used it for. And it was in fantastic condition, but it's just an older model. So when I do the comparison later, just bear in mind that mine is an older model compared to what some people may have. So the quality might be slightly different, um, but here we go. This is the Ergo Baby City Stroller. So I will do a side by side, but first I'm just gonna take you through all of the features. This stroller, um, I was most impressed by it because it's one of the only compact strollers that lies completely flat. There is a pocket at the back and inside it has your adjustable straps, similar to any other compact stroller. It's more of a drawstring and this one does lie completely flat. And it has an adjustable seat here, which goes down all the way down. And then your baby can be comfortable that way. This is a complete mesh panel, which I was mad about because, and mad in a good way, because in Hong Kong it is so hot and every time um, George would go down for a nap, he would just have like a giant sweat patch at the back of his head because strollers just trap heat but say it is um winter time or he's gone down for a nap and we're indoors and it's air conditioned and i want it to be a bit darker this comes out from that same hidden pocket where your stroller layer downer adjuster thing was and that just clips onto there and it velcros onto the sides and then now it's completely sealed. So A, it becomes dark, and B, it's warmer for warmer weather, uh, cooler weather. And then it goes down, roll it. There is a little strap in here, so you can just hide it away. Um, and in theory, you can also put things in here I tried to put the rain cover in there and it would not um, fold down as compactly. It would fold down, but not as compactly as if I wasn't, okay, if I hadn't put anything in there. Right, that's that. The hood comes down boop, 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 pretty far. If I forced it, it could go all the way down, but it comes down pretty far. We did a sunny walk today. George was completely like shaded except for his legs, which is standard, which is what you would expect. It has a little pocket up here with a little mesh bit so I can see him. And it's got, it's a little magnet. It's not Velcro, it's a little magnet inside there, which is cute AF. They are like a rubbery thing. And I tested them out today and I went like off-road. Back wheels are wider than the front and the front ones are quite small, the under storage space. You never get that much crazy storage space with these, you know, city strollers and you're just gonna have to expect that. I'm fine with it. You know, we sometimes do the carabinas and we put bag clips on, but Usually we don't have a crazy amount of stuff. George is bigger, we don't need as much stuff. Right, I am gonna show you how to fold it and open it, and then I'm gonna do a comparison to the yo-yo. Sliding button here and a push button here. So you slide, push, this part comes down, down like that, and then there's a handle here that just, boom, flat. So in theory, you can do it with one arm, and it does, um, go down pretty flat. However, I do think that the yo-yo folds down thinner. Two, three, four. Yay! I think that the 
Yo-Yo, which is this one, it does fold down thinner. So on the website, it says that the Ergo Baby does fit in most airlines um, storage things, but I think you would have to double check depending on your airline. The benefit of the Yo-Yo is the strap and it does feel a lot lighter. This one doesn't have a strap. Just based on feeling, I have to do it from both ways. I do think this one is heavier, but I don't know if that's because this is a metal handle throwing me off. To open, same thing. You just lift the handle up, boom. It's one-handed. To open the yo-yo in the tray, it's one-handed and it springs open. To close the yo-yo, you have to do two hands here. You pull from the bottom, and then, in theory, it flattens. What I have seen and what I've experienced is as the yo-yo gets older, or if there's stuff in there, or if you're rushing, sometimes this goes like this. The opening mechanism is a lot easier on the yo-yo. I'm admitting that. The handle is a bit higher, but if we look at them side by side, I think they're pretty much the same width. The downsides to the yo-yo are the footrest. This is also, although this is machine washable, it's very thin and it's not as comfy as this one. This one is super comfy. It is, I wanna say it's a four point harness. I don't know what the technical terms are. Maybe it's a five point harness, which I prefer over the flimsier, um, the flimsier straps of this one, which my son always comes out of. Having said that, he, you know, he can't easily push this button, which might not be the case for the Ergo stroller. The wheels on the Ergo are super flimsy. They are like plastic. The hood, I know on the newer hoods, there is a little cover pad thing, whereas mine's an older one, so the hood is completely see-through. But with that, the hood doesn't go very far down. My son's always getting sunburned in this one. Um, I know on the newer ones as well, there's a zip in the back. Mine's an older model, it doesn't have a zip. Um, and then when you lay your baby down, this one can't go flat, but it's a similar concept. It's the drawstring like completely flat and that's one of my biggest issues so my closing thoughts are i prefer the ergo i don't know if it's just because it's a new stroller and i'm like living for it but it's super easy to push i took george out in it today it's really sturdy really good to navigate um fits in all the mtr things this is the kind of stroller that actually feels like it has longevity i know i've only had it a week or so but if in a couple of years time, it's still in this condition and um, functioning as well as it's been functioning, then awesome. The Yo-Yo, I think, is still a great stroller. However, it is a lot flimsier. Um, the tires just don't have suspension and the frame is flimsier. In terms of price point, the Yo-Yo costs this much and the Ergo Baby costs this much. I just also wanted to add on while I was editing this, it really depends on your retailer and where you're buying it from because obviously different stores um, charge different amounts and uh, it also depends on the um, whether you're getting the newborn kit or not because obviously if you're getting this from newborn, the yo-yo can be more like 6,000 um, or if you're just getting the newborn kit and the ergo baby, um, the kits still aren't in Hong Kong, but that's like an extra two thousand. So that probably is more like four to five thousand dollars, Hong Kong dollars. Um, having said that, we also have to consider that Yo Yo Baby Zen have all of their accessories already for their stroller. So they have the sun 
parasol, they have the snack tray, the cup holder, all that kind of stuff. So Ergo Baby has versions for their other stroller, but they haven't got any accessories out for this one just yet. I have all of my add-ons that I bought externally anyways, either from Skip Hop or Taobao or one of those other like um, universal baby accessory companies. So that's another thing that you want to consider. If you want the whole matching set and you want to go through one website, it's probably Yo-Yo Baby Zen. Um, if you don't mind shopping around mixing and matching, the Ergo might be a better choice for you. I also just think that the Ergo Baby stroller quality is a lot nicer to be pushing around and comfier for your kids. It's Ergo for a reason. It's ergonomic, which is made for your body and healthy for your body. And that me being in the fitness industry and working with kids and working with moms, like I want something ergonomic for my child. And that's kind of why I love this the most. Um, it's red, so it also goes faster. For me, this one wins every time because of the price point. If they could make this model, you know, fix those little kinks, make it a true one-handed, um, because it's folding down capabilities are amazing. If they could make this, this price, then maybe this one would win. But right now, all the way for the Ergo. Please let me know what other um, information you want about this stroller and whether you want to buy it or not. I know that Hong Kong is getting the newborn kits in. By the time I release this video, they probably will have them in Hong Kong. They'll probably also have the car seat adapters and things like that. I will do a proper tutorial video on how to open and close the stroller um, if you want me to. Okay, comment down below and let me know.